Brains and welcome to an unboxing and review of a sensory fidget toy making kit. A, a, a fidget toy sensory craft kit? I, I don't know how to call it. I'm a little confused because we are looking at Orby's Sensation Station. The name itself is an interesting choice of words. I would really love to be immersed in a sensation station. Maybe for a weekend would be a nice getaway, I think. It would be time. Would you like to join me in a sensation station? And I love how they have the one and only Orbeez Challenge. There are hashtags everywhere on this box. I, I don't know why there are so many hashtags. There's hashtag explode, hashtag crush, hashtag slice, and then hashtag Orbeez Challenge on, under the social medias of the TikToks and things. But I'm actually really interested in seeing what this is all about because all I can see is that there's Orbeez on top. We squish them, they go down, and then it's supposed to be some kind of sensory experience. I don't know if you just put your hand in there or do you put your feet? Do you go like like in your face? I don't know. I actually never put Orbeez on my face. Huh. I'm more excited about the crushing part and then the slicing. Is it going to sound like kinetic sand? Because I love this sound specifically. And on top of that, we have a second station, which is glow in the dark. And they really do make it seem like glow in the dark. So I want to test out, does it need sun? Because we don't have any here in Canada, but I do have UV light, luckily. Or does it stay glow in the dark whenever we want? And oddly enough, on this box, at least at the front, it doesn't say that we can slice it. So we are we gonna find out together? Let me know in the comment section below, which one of these have you tried? Or if you haven't tried any of them, which one do you have the most hope on? I kind of want to play with the colorful one to be honest I like them I like them in colors and they go like that that's my best way to describe it and each one of these was $24.99 Canadian plus tax which is this much in Canadian monies which is this much in US monies if you're new here don't forget to subscribe because we do all sorts of weird, wacky, fidgety things. Click on all notification while you're there. The other thing that I noticed is that it says there's 15 ways to play. I wonder if they're going to list it or we're just gonna have to figure it out. Oh. Figure it out. Figure it out. Figure it out. Figure it out. And in the back, we do see that there's a kind of roller and then some kind of shaper included. This actually looks really promising. I hope it does have these satisfying or satisfactory. I know many of you in the comments were like, Jackie, don't you know the difference between satisfying and satisfactory? And the answer is no, not really. English is my third language, so I will use whatever's cutest. Can, is the, can I be cute? I'll try. And I love the fact that they have to mention, do not insert into your nose or your ears. I don't know, you know what? Actually, no, it's not true. I was about to say, you know what? I don't know what would prompt someone to snort Orbeez, but I guess in the crushed form, it, it could be encouraging, but do not do it. But into your ears? Why into your ears? You, you just can't see it. I never even thought of that. It usually means that someone did it. That's all I have to say. If whoever did this, you're the reason they put do not put in your ears. Don't be that person that a label has to be created just for you. Okay, don't be the exception to the rule. All right, let's see what we get inside. Oh, it's heavy. Oh no, oh no. Where's the colorful ones? Are they in here? <clears throat> Aha. Whoa! What? Oh, I don't know if you see this. How long has this bug been in there? Are you okay, buddy? Oh my god. There's a beetle in here. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, are you okay? I don't know how this beetle got in there. Why? And this is sealed from top and bottom. There are some holes in here. But how long have you been in there, buddy? Oh no. Is this Steve from last time? Now, I know many of you were worried last time when I released Steve into the wild because you said maybe this is not a native species. It could be dangerous. But no, I've seen these guys around. I've seen them around there. I'm gonna go ahead and release Steve. I don't know how long you've been in there, Steve, but I think you deserve fresh air. All right, let's, let's get you some hydration and some 
some food. Is there another one anywhere else? No. Okay, let's go free Steve. A few moments later. Now that Steve's free, we have our roller thingy. I'm not sure how to clean this. I guess we're gonna have to go underwater or something. We have a crusher. Kind of looks like a clay extruder. Yes, definitely like a clay extruder. So you, you put your stuff in here and you're gonna twist it. And it go like that. That's my sound of I don't know what's up with my sound effects today, but editor, you, you won't help me today. We have a scooper and a slicer and a mini scooper, I think. Could be cool. And then we have the pump, which I'll put the machine together in not too long. It does come in quite a few pieces. And this is here. What kind of worried me because all we have are purples and blues. I don't know if the camera's catching it really well. You know what? Here it is a little brighter. And then we have reds and yellows. And I'm guessing it's green and blue. Was I promised the rainbow? Yes, yes, quite indeed. I was promised orange and pinks and, and greens and all that, but I guess you know what? We're gonna put all of the Orbeez in the water and let them grow because I kind of want to see that. I want all the colors. But the cool thing is, is that they already give you already made Orbeez so you can start right away with, you know, playing with the kit instead of just waiting. So that's thoughtful and appreciated, but... I want the other colors too. And so here's the actual container where we can do our Orbeez things. And then we have the, 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 the thing, but the thing, oh my gosh, why did I bring it <laughs> A tray! So I really appreciate that they do give us a tray because then you don't have to mess up your own table. All right, and here it is together. You can see it's, it is pretty deep. I don't know if it's waterproof, but I'm hoping it is. Since I'm guessing they want us to use another bowl in order to make our other Orbeez and then wait for hours. I don't know if I have time for that. I kind of want to use the container they gave us, which I probably will. And I don't want to just make one at a time. I think, I don't know if it's a mistake. If it is someone, you got to stop me. <clears throat> But we're gonna do all 400 plus 400 plus 700. That's 1500, all 1500 Orbeez. Did I math right? Yes. So in goes our yellow. Oh my god. There you go. In goes our red. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. There you go. They're so tiny. They're so baby. How much is in here? 250. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's gonna be a lot. Okay, that's fine. And then we have our greens and blues. We're just gonna do this. Voila. Now it says three, four, five cups of water. <clears throat> I have my water down here and I have my cup. So five cups of water. One. Is it leaking? Are you leaking? No, we good. I might be doing this wrong. Two. So for those of you who want to say, Jake, you do it wrong. Stop. I don't have experience with Orbeez. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm probably triggering some of you. Like when I put the Barbies together. I said I never played with Barbies. And the comment section was full of y'alls telling me that the jacket was uh, in the wrong way. I know. Well, I didn't know back then. But I know now. And I appreciate you educating me. <gasps> How many did we put? Four? How many did I put? Three or four? Oh no, <laughs> let me rewatch. <laughs> A few minutes later. So it seems that we put three. Let, let's stop ranting. There's four. They're already starting to grow. And here's five. Hang on. There we go. Five. There you go. Let's give them a good mix so that they don't stick to each other. I don't know if that's a thing. Let's, let's see if they separate. Voila. And uh, I guess now I have to wait for four hours, which I don't think I need to wait four hours, but we're gonna put a time-lapse camera for your enjoyment. Here we are two hours later. I'm pretty sure they could get bigger, but look at them. Oh, my babies. I just wanna, oh, ah, God. I just wanna, oh, it's just, oh, it feels so good. And yes, they're not all the colors that are on the box, but they're pretty darn good. It's pretty colorful. Oh, it feels so nice. But I really do like this consistency quite a bit because I find these ones a little too easy to smush in between my fingers. So actually, let's do a comparison. Oh, they're double bagged? Okay. You see, they're already kind of smushed over here. I'm gonna take, oh, 
Okay, let's do a size comparison. Oh my god, that is double the size. I guess that's why it takes double the time. But I really do like this consistency. Because this one, look how quickly it smushes. Kind of like a jello. Whereas this one, oh my gosh, this one will not pop. <gasps> oh, okay, it popped. Oh no, we might actually have to put it back in the water. Oh no. I think the whole point is for them to smush. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry. Let's do some of the smushing with this first. So let's go ahead and explore the different ways that we can play with the Orbeez. The first ones are basically projectile shooting it out. But I have to say, the more I touch these, the more I understand why, why it says don't put it up your nose. I'm like... I can feel how they would feel inside my nose. Definitely don't do that. I still don't understand the ear thing. Maybe it comes from experience. Ear experience. <laughs> All right, <laughs> remember, don't do that. All right, let's pour them in here. Because apparently it's supposed to be fun to shoot them out of here. How do we do this again? There's a cap, this one. Okay, so apparently we can shoot them out. Oh, or not. Nope. Doesn't work. Does it need to be fuller? Did I just squish them? I don't know how to play with Orbeez! Let's, let's fill the entire thing. I'm not sure I'm crazy about this extra smushiness though. Okay, in we go. Voila. They do feel good though. That much I have to say. Okay, are we good? You, you're gonna pop... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Okay, I see it. Okay, I don't get it though. I'd rather just put my hand in there. And then there's this thing. Let's try this again. Time for the scoopty scoop. Oh, scoopty, you work so well. Oh, scoopty. Oh, this is a good scoopy. Two hours later. The next way we can play with it is a projectile this way. Let's see if it works. Nope. Hello? Oh, there you go. Doesn't work very well. Maybe this way? No, but we're... I'm not crazy about the projectile play, to be honest. I feel like smushing, we're already smushing it in here. Look at that. It's already getting destroyed in this container. So I feel like we should, we should, we should, we should do the squishing. That's what I want to do. So let's, let's get this out of here and pour them in. Oh, that sound. There you go. Cool. And supposedly we should be able to pick them up with this thing. So let's, let's try a pick up. Is it going to work? <gasps> It actually does! What? Let's bring you grains closer, and we'll put it in here. And you can see the Orbeez falling in. Look at that. And voila. That's a pretty good picker-upper. Let's do that again. Look at that. This way you can see them go in. Look at this. Very nice. And in the hands they go. They do get squished in the process. I kind of want to keep the other ones not too mushy though. But okay, that's that's another way to play with them. Okay, uh, okay, now for the squishing. Oh, okay, 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 okay. We have the normal squisher and we have a super squisher. All right, so this is supposed to go here, like so, okay. There's so many components to this. You, you can tell that you put they put thought, but I'm struggling. <laughs> I'm struggling with their thoughts. This is one of those times where I do appreciate that it's pictures and colors, but it's also one of those times where I feel like some words would help. Just a little bit, please. All right, so I got the top on there. It was the other way, and now I just realized I have to reach in. No, Orbeez, no. My fingers! I mean my hands and my fingers. They're just attached together. Okay, let's put a few in here and let's, oh gosh. Oh boy, oh boy, oh, oh no, I should not have done that. Good job, Jackie. Take two, got it. So we're gonna scoop them in here like a so. I think that's full enough. There we go, that's pretty good. Maybe a little too full, there we go. And now we're gonna put this top back on. I'm, I'm, I have experience now. I know how to do it. You just gotta click, like click, and click. There, I think, I think I got it. Okay, we got it. Okay, this goes in here. Look at that. These attachments work so well. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start twisting and let's see what kind, oh. Oh, these are chunky. Oh my God, look at them chunks. Oh. 
this is definitely not the consistency that's going to give us that little thing that we can slice. So I'm guessing this is like round one. Oh, look at them go. How do they feel? Oh, like jello. Oh, they're so wet. Oh, like wet jello. I don't like it. I think I like them when they were balls better. Get your minds out of the gutter! So here's the first one without any kind of attachment. It's pretty big holes. And then the attachment, as you can see, has tiny mesh on the inside. We basically have to put it here and twist. Okay, let's try it with the ones that are already smushed and also with the ones that are not smushed at all. We're gonna scoop you. And we have our scoopies. This scoopy is so useful. And I'm gonna put you put you in here. Probably not enough space. Oh wait, that's the <laughs> that's, no, that's not the right thing. It's this one with the hole. I tried to put it on the scoopy. I'm don't worry, I'm okay. I'm okay, I promise. I got it. There it is. I'm gonna scoop you in there. Oh boy. <laughs> Orbeez brain. What did you say that I, I missed? No, no, no. This mess was already there before. <laughs> I'm such a liar. So here is round two with the twisties. Let's see what kind of results do we get. Oh, that is a lot more resistance. What the heck? Okay, I'm bringing y'all closer. It's like a slush. Oh my god. What? No way. Oh, that feels like slush. <gasps> oh, that's how people make the slimes. Oh my god, I did not know. Oh, oh that feels good. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Look, listen, listen. It 100% feels like a slush. So like an icy drink on a cold day. Look at that. And it makes a nice shape too. Oh, I like this a lot. And it leaves a lot of residue. It's definitely not a clean toy, but it is a fun toy so far. Okay, let's crush some more. We're gonna crush the colorful ones too. And let's do some cutting up. I got my babies. They are back! Oh, yes! Oh, 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 my God. I'm in love with these! Why have I waited this long to get so many? I think I want... I want, I want to swim in them. I want to put my whole body in them. I should fill up my whole pool. I should fill up my whole bathtub. I don't even have a pool. <laughs> All right, I hope you're ready for this. Honestly, this is 100% a sensory toy or a fidget toy. I could fidget with this all day long, maybe a little too much. I think this is about good. I'm gonna put some pressure and let's move it to the, the, the platform. And here we go with the colorful one. Hopefully that's going to give us a better, more. so this is first the blue one, the, the leftovers on the inside and we should be seeing color now. I'm feeling the resistance. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. It worked, even though it is firmer. Holy shrimp. <laughs> That's all we're getting though. Let's scoop that. Let's make a good batch. And then you know what? Let's let's see how the slicing feels. know about you grains but that was pretty satisfying for me all right let's get you the tray out of here and look at that oh my god look at you let's put it in here make a nice little shape that's basically what the instructions tell me to do by the way and there are other methods to play but they do involve recording so i will show you what they mean by dropping the orbies into the thing and then recording it from underneath it's trust me i'm pretty sure it is satisfying to see something fall down onto the phone we'll try it together all right so here it is and voila okay should I have compacted it more? And we have our kutta. And okay, let's let's see if it sounds any satisfying. No. Okay. Despite the fact that there's no sound, it was pretty satisfying to feel the crunch. Let's do that again. And we can scoop it. Look at you. <gasps> Infinite scoopage! Oh my god. Okay, let me let me condense it a little bit more. Maybe that's going to give us a better crunch or something. Okay, here. <laughs> I should title this video Jackie Discovering Orbeez Properly. Kind of.
I like this. This is definitely a fidget toy. Definitely a fidget and sensory toy. Look at this! Little, little cubes? Little cubies? Like cutting onions? Look at that. And they do keep their shape. Again, it does leave a residue on your hand, so if you don't like that kind of texture, then that's something to keep your mind on. But if you like it in the ball form, that's not, you know, Sandy-esque. Now for this next part, I have to clean the bottom of this properly so that we don't get any grossness in there, especially when it comes to the phone camera. I don't know if you can see me. I'm here. So we're cleaning this up so there's no residue. And then we're gonna place my camera. I think I want the good quality. Alright, so here's my camera. And I'm gonna put it wide angle-esque. And I'm hoping this is gonna see enough. I'm gonna put it a little less than centered, like us so. So far so good. And now I put some colored Orbeez in here. We're just gonna remove... Eesh, hang on. We're gonna remove this one, we're gonna put that one. And it should all just fall onto the camera. And you're gonna see, I'm gonna show you that perspective, don't worry about it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that was weird, it was too fast! And here's what that looks like, but I think I did it wrong. There was a little cap that I could put before putting it upside down, and we're gonna do that now. I'm not gonna talk this time, so it's a fully sensory experience for you. So let's go ahead. Slide the phone right under, just a little, like us all. Okay, we good? No more talking. And just for your pure pleasure, here it is in slow motion. Flashing light warning. Because of my neons, they were just there was some flashing light for the next 16 seconds. So if you have any sensitivities, just skip 16 seconds. Now don't worry, I didn't forget that there's a glow-in-the-dark version. So instead of looking at everything, because I'm guessing everything is the same, yes, I just want to see how glow-in-the-dark the actual Orbeez are. So... Oh. Oh. Okay. So for this purpose, this room is going to get hang on, a little uncomfortable. Dark. We gonna get. We gonna get dark in here. <laughs> and the first thing we're going to test is which one is glow in the dark. Whether it's the ones that are kind of translucenty or the ones that are green and blue. This darkness is kind of ambient. Well, hello. Here's some roses for you. Do you like chocolates? Don't worry. They are your favorite flavor, regardless what it is. Alright, so let's see if they are glow-in-the-dark without UV light or if we actually need to put them in sunlight. I didn't read the instructions because I was like, mm, I'll just, I'll just wait. Alright, we're gonna get the lights off. Okay. Okay, I see you. Look at that. You can't see my face though, but it is glow in the dark. I just need to let you know that I have exposure a little higher. So it is brighter than it seems, but still extremely bright. This is really good. Now I'm curious if we put some UV light to it. Let's see if it actually glows a little bit more. All right, let's turn the UV light off. And the answer is holy shrimp. Yes. So if you want a higher glow, definitely go for putting it in the sunlight for a little bit because look at the difference between the top and bottom. This one got UV light, this one did not. So let's do some ASMR in the dark. And now we're gonna place it for the ASMR fall. Hopefully the phone catches it too. And the first order of business is the smushing. Let's do an Orbeez glow-in-the-dark cutting. So now the question is, are these kits worth your cash or do they go in the 
Trish. I have to say that the glow in the dark really caught me by surprise, but I do like the colorfulness of the first one. I kind of wish they had a hybrid of both of them, colorful and glow in the dark, but then again, how could they make their money? I understand. I know. I know. But I'm pretty sure you can buy glow in the dark Orbeez separately. And yes, I had absolutely a lot of fun. It's not quite a fidget toy maker, but it is a fidget toy. So I'm going to say for $25, it kept me busy for the entire day. So I'm going to say worth your cash. I still want to fidget with it a little bit more. If you want to watch more fidget toy reviews, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch something a little crafty, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.